Italy has capitulated. Nice. Yeah, too much hoi for. Uh, was just watching World War Wednesday Part Three, and this, and <laughs> then saw the mail and on this. Yeah, it's hoi for now. Um, usually hoi for will most likely be my like fallback game, fallback to game. So it will be a lot of hoi for on this channel. Hi to what do you think about having a division compiled with some infantry regiments and then maybe one two super heavy armored in extremely late game? Yeah, that would could, could probably work since high armor is quite good for just disabling all the smaller attacks or disabling negating the smaller attacks that may happen. Take their tacos. <laughs> oh god, stereotypic chat number one. Well, I can't say I blame them since I'm also pretty... I like making stereotypes. Uh, hopefully everyone knows I'm never, ever, never, ever serious when I make stereoty stereotypes. Never. Um, just wanted to get that out. <laughs> and let's see. Where will the next... So this is wing I like with motorized. I can quickly do stuff like this. They could probably avoid this, but... Um, with motorized I can quickly cut that off and just wreck it. You are done, so let's give you a special order one more time. Rush. And the rest of you... 25, okay, we have not been produced yet, so nice. Uh, no, loving it. Hoi4 Overlord. Oh, 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 then that's nice. Welcome. <laughs> At least I'll get to sleep. Uh, probably, only problem, don't get to play it enough of it myself. Oh, <laughs> do stereotypical joke about Turkey. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. That's too easy. Every everyone is already saying it enough in my chat. So, I'm like, uh, if I figure out something funny, stereotypical about Turkey, I will do it. But otherwise, the normal one is just too boring. And please, yeah, good, we held out. We, may, may, we lost this battle. But we instantly attacked here, so it's fine. Since we could hold them off. And you guys are just continuing. Please. Go for it. Go f completely m crazy. And you. Nice. And let's do... Oh, shit. I wasn't... I didn't mean to do that. Um, well, what's done is done. And now I really want to go for the decryption. You are gonna do. Let's let's start with just some. This is gonna just be bomber backup, basically. These are really bad, but at least it's something. Please fix yourself. I'd really like you to just use this more often but well you can't get everything in the world um but uh, are you still talking about graphic cards well you're free to talk about whatever you want in my chat i would really n need a better graphic card so actually maybe someone actually knows about this if i would get a 4k screen would you see any difference on the stream uh, let's just switch both of these off inst instantly to heavy fighters, since we're gonna have primarily fighters. If we get extra factories, we're gonna produce bombers. Um, yeah, I I'm figuring out if I should get a 4K screen for me at home, since it's really nice to have, and it feels better. Uh, you must choose uh, if you must choose decryption or encryption, depend depending all, depending a lot on what I want to play with. Like, if it's multiplayer, I say encryption. If it's against AI, I say decryption. No, 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 no. Oh, that sucks. Uh, this is brilliant. Taking over the world as the only female character in the world. Funny. And you are done. Hello, Black Divisions. You're getting one more friend. It's called Motorized 26 Motorized Division. 
Um, please grab that. Shit. I wanna, I wanna make M Mexico fall before the US can start messing with the border. Daniel, have you ever played RimWorld? So I uh, played it yesterday and think I'm getting it. No, I have never played RimWorld, but it is one of those games I feel really like. If I start playing it, I won't be able to stop. So I like, I approve of the game, though I have not played it yet for myself. But I think you sh if you got uh, the right spec for it, <laughs> to be capable of it. Oh. That sucks. Um, I actually have a 4K screen at work, the only one. So that's why I know how it is to have a 4K screen. Um, people are really jealous about it. But we needed someone to test that 4, 4K. So I took the massive re responsibility to actually take the 4K screen. And uh, it was a pretty large sacrifice, but... Let's see, please tell me you're quicker than those units. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I don't want to look. Yes, good one. Good one. <laughs> if they would have arrived before my unit actually arrived here, then they would have been overrun and I would have lost it. So nice. But what's really not nice is this. Um, let's fix this battle plans. Fix this battle plan so I can't even speak correctly. Um, like this, and you are now gonna be dragged out like that. Let's see. Oh, that was instantly overrun. So I threw away one unit. So half of you, which is one division, welcome to the party. And let's see. Can I go through the United States divisions? They're a bit, they're a bit harder, but I still can pierce it. Oh wait, they can pierce one of my divisions, but not the other one. That's weird. Hmm. But yeah, I'm pushing through them a bit, but I'm gonna need more units with it. So what I'm gonna do is this. Instant deploy a load of you, assign you to the black line, and this is just gonna be assigned throughout the whole one now as extra support. And you all are going to take strategic deployment right there. Nice. Uh, Daniel does humble brag. <laughs> Happy fire is level 2. That went really quickly, but yes, please. And as my next trick, I'm going to bring up Heavy Fighters level 3 instantly. Holy shit, that went so quickly to get all the way. Uh, construction level 4, and we need to be able to do... As I forgot uh, for a very long time, mechanized level 2. Come on, push through. Yes, good. You're doing it. And this is looking really bad. From division reinforcement, 1.8k. So never mind, you're getting removed once, once more. And it should look much better now. Yeah, division reinforcements are super low. And you, what do you need? You need that rubber. Can't, can't we get that rubber from anyone? No, 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 we can't get it from anyone. We really just have to kill the US and we are getting pushed back, I think, even. We might just not be able to do this with only mechanized. Seems like it's not super viable. Um, but one thing we can at least do is start doing careful attacks. So let's just halt all current attacks and then begin with careful push. So they will only attack if they feel they have the advantage. Which, yeah, I most likely not don't have at most places. Yeah, you can pierce this, but I'm doing lo loads more damage than you. So bye-bye, US Division. And I'm also piercing your armor on your tanks. And quickly now... That eight eight night division eight nice divisions I need at the front and not some so hold and spread out nice and I won't break that even though it won't be advantageous battle I kind of need it no that won't work my my advantage is speed. 
and not brute force. When I see opportunity, I should be able to break it. I don't want to fight head on and just run into a wall. So let's see. Yes, all my fighters here would be stupid. Um, shift click to move 100. Good. 200 of you assigned here as like that. And the same thing. I could be just putting them up as extra for the rest of this theater. 400 here. Deploy them. Both air superiority and interception. And you're basically doing nothing. Oh wait, wait, you actually have to arrive first. Sorry, sorry for hating on you before you actually arrived and done something. Okay, you're here and you are soon here. And good. Yeah, that's nice. We start then to wear down on their bombers and that should also decrease their yeah enemy air superiority I have superiority now and yeah I pushed up here come on this I need to break four divisions from Mexico or actually from the US they were just tricking me um, but it's garrison brigades and colonial garrisons so it shouldn't be the hardest thing to break through we'll see um, seems like you're trying to reinforce from there so let's try to break it here. Yes, um, you should definitely not be attacking for any goddamn reason. I must have accidentally made an attack order right there and... No, that's not working. That is working though. And this is why I want encryption, to see their units. To be able to see what they got there and how many units. That's why I'm focusing on encryption before decryption for now. Daniel, any advice for getting Russia with Japan? I hold the Rai in China. Uh, for getting Russia with Japan. Fire until the last freaking standing man. You will gonna need all of them. It's gonna be a slow push all the way here. Or you can go US, Greece, uh, <laughs> Greece, Germany and then grab this land. Which is the most valuable and that what you need to take to be able to make them surrender. Otherwise it's a slow push all the way basically a massive massive front so more units than a few strong ones I would say and you are pushing through nice let's see um, ship designer tank designer not really gonna need it but ship designer why not since we are gonna have some ships. And good, you push through. And how is this going? Yeah, we're losing a lot of equipment now. Let's see. Can we switch out some? I'm gonna do you to half strength. And we're gonna do even more. Because we need to outweigh the production that we are actually missing. Since... Yeah, two a day on 50% production says we're missing the steel and rubber. We should not be miss the steel. But we are now. Since China apparently closed their economy more. So Soviet Union, hello my friend. And let's give me that steel at a stealing price. And yes, I'm doing that joke one more time since it actually seems quite well. Quite well. What, what did I even say there? Because it was quite well. Like the bombers. This is looking bad. Um, I'm not taking very heavy losses, but I can't keep this up at all. They really can. Why, why would you attack there? That I that I more approve of. And let's see. Um, you are getting smacked down. But they have air sp support and I have none. Let's do attack bombers level 2. Game is running well. I really need to go up and grab Mexico. Uh, Mexico. Just make them surrender. While you should be, you free units should be pushing in here. Yeah, come on. Before any US divisions arrive. Two days and 
a couple hours and of course the US arrived with more troops. No, we're not gonna join you just yet since I, I think I be, still can beat them by myself. But this... Come on, break here, then I can go in right there and surround these two units and I'm not forced to attack over a river anymore. And that would be a real bonus. Uh, let's grab one of these units and actually go and try to surround all of these units. If you can't surround at one place, try to surround at another one. If you can't surround there, go even further up. But um, yeah, here it seems to be pretty rock solid. No surrender possibility. <laughs> Sur uh, surrender. <laughs> Surround possibility. Um, and yeah, two divisions. Try to break them quickly, please. We counteract their tactic, that's well, but I wish you did a bit more damage. So, like, this is more solid constant damage than the artillery one. Hmm. Uh, I'm wondering where Sweden sits as far as number of devs. I don't know, quite high. I think we're a very large, actually, game dev heavy country. Top 10 globally numbers would be, I guess, maybe in top 5. I don't know. Um, someone could probably just Wikipedia that for you. And uh, that's looking kind of well. Still, I need more mechanized. I really need a lot more mechanized. Um, what really failed was me not grabbing Mexico before the US actually got involved in the war, and that I'm gonna pay for that quite heavily, I think. Um, I just want two lines now so I can execute it whenever I want to. Both of you need to safe, stay very safe now. Don't attack for any goddamn reason and just gather up that huge planning bonus that I actually have. 110%. So don't attack, just defend and then we will crush them. And yeah, reorganize. Don't drop that province. Don't drop that province. I need it. For f for fuck's sake! <laughs> and yeah, that also includes gather up more mechanized units. And why I'm not getting enough steel now? I'm not getting all of it. Yeah, because I don't have enough trade. Am I losing that many convoys? Yeah, freaking Japan. They're just destroying all my convoys. So yeah, I'm gonna stop with every trade I do have. That's gonna t be a quite heavy penalty for me. At least for now. Let's see. You are gaining some 2.2 every day, so... Soon guys, we will soon do our counterattack. But for now, just hold on. Hold on with all you can. We might actually have to bring up our... Yeah, I'm gonna bring them up, actually. Earlier than I expected. I expected to do it someday, but not this quickly. So yeah, all units up at the front. We need to be able to defend it as much as possible. Uh, let's see. Ubisoft, the new gaming devils, <laughs> if EA turns. Uh, th there's currently 200 approximate game development companies in Finland. That's cool. There are 42 game devs from Sweden listed on Wikipedia. Nice. So come on. Come on, cavalry. Get up here. Actually, all of you, since you're going to be on different, just go there and then do whatever. Split up on the front. And since I have two red companies, that is something I will switch out. You're going to be the blue company. See, see, see how easily they're pushing me back. Since, yeah, my strength is mobile attack, not hard head on head pushing. So I'm taking heavy losses now. They're taking heavier losses, but they can really keep this up for forever. I can not. Not even close to be able to do this. Uh, you're the blue company, you are the black company. Uh, 
and then we're gonna do one gather push one last try and otherwise in that we're just gonna hold out like at this border and just wait 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 and do something cool later and that's not gonna be very fun um, so I hopefully we will be able to break through right here right here right now but what's probably fine for Germany is I pulled some units away from their front but it seems to be yeah they have no chance either way we might be able to, we might be forced to join with Soviet Union and then we will do but of course leave them later and backstab them in the back when we can mm. then we could also do this one just instantly so units have gathered at the front um, it's still mechanized that I'm missing by quite a bit just reduce that actually I've, I have this free interwar fight Ugh, that's no why please why and it seems like they are reorganizing now let's just give you some of the planning bonus and because you're not you're not even close since that my that is my strength right now my planning bonus my one moment where I smack them and then s surround them so I'm losing 100k men really 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 quickly and what the hell why am I losing so quickly is the older attrition of getting up there uh, let's just cancel this cancel a couple lines here that's my 100k back but still what the hell 45 units yeah so um, I'm gonna need to push them back now if I'm ever gonna do anything since they're just getting stronger and stronger and I'm just getting weaker and weaker so it seems like this might have been a winning move but I won't know just yet since play is bad here and I need to get up a bit more to actually see how this is going. Um, I'm, take, I'm gonna take some heavier losses for now, but we'll see what happens in a short while. If I will manage to crush them or push them back or... Yeah. Um, seems to be going quite well right here. So that's nice. We almost instantly took back the river. And we're going up to Sant Antonio once more. So you go up here. Um, if we could just go in and grab U.S. territory instead of Mexican territory, I wouldn't. I wouldn't complain about that, since it's pro pretty goddamn good. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, you left no troops here, and I'm just walking into it. And yeah. This is going surprisingly well, actually, now. And we still have a couple of manpower loss. We're taking a bit heavy casualties. Yeah, we're taking some casualties at least, but we are pushing. We are pushing quite hard, too. With this very n mobile, kind of cheap army. Heavy fighters level 3, so let's start producing them. And here's beauty with it. it these machines. 200 planes, all oh, right, you were pushed back because of, anyway, let's assign them, let's add, you're gonna be on 200, and I will be able to assign them pretty much wherever, I can do them probably in, yeah, and they have not that much actually, but look at this, and they still reach it, southwest, they have 86% of coverage of this, this, from here that's that's crazy amount with normal fighters you probably have to have one here and here to be able to have even maybe close to the same so that's insanely good uh, ground support we're gonna go up oh shit I haven't researched this for ages and we also have the new mechanized equipment uh, let's just all oh, right because they can't like this so um, why I'm upgrading right away even though I'm losing lots and lots of efficiency is 
Yeah, I'm still, even if I lose 50%, I'm lose two a day. It's not the most horrible thing on earth. And I need better equipment, since if you look at stats from level 1 to 2, more defense, more hardness, more armor, more piercing, not more faster too, and breakthrough. So they is better in all ways. Um, so yeah, army, continue onwards. Uh, 300k losses, so that's really bad. Um, we will be, we will quite soon probably pull this up. But I don't want to delay it for as long as possible. Um, my front is starting to get a bit thin, since yeah, the front is getting quite large. And the US has a ton more troops than me. But I'm still, it seems to be, I'm still winning most battles around this area. Now let's see, uh, my 200 fighters are having complete control of this. And Houston, we've got a problem. Argentina came and took us. Oh, they are doing so well on defense. That's ridiculous. That's crazy good. And now I'm falling back. <laughs> that went so... That was so quickly from... Oh, it's looking great to... Yeah, we're falling back now. <laughs> um, so we're gonna... We need to push here in the south. There's no, there's no other, like, s possibility. You will push in the south because I command you to. No, stop it. You're gonna attack right there. Yeah, and you, you're attacking... <laughs> Shit. It's just not looking good at all. I'm trying to keep the spirit up, but it's not looking super well now. So everyone, f halt. Hold your advance. Gather up strength again. Just start. try to start defending everywhere, and we will see if we can do something. Just regroup everywhere, and... Yeah, we'll see if that planning bonus can make another miracle. And I don't really want to lose that. So, ugh. of course, just just instantly lose it when I tell you not to lose it. I'm getting pissed. <laughs> we need another miracle. But I've, I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah. We are gonna have to join the Soviet Union. Sad. Really, really, really sad face, but... Communist, Soviet Union, you might be wrong. You might be doing this the wrong way of... Allying up against... Oh, with the Allies to beat back the Germans, but... You're doing something wrong. And we will save you by taking you over later. So... Soviet Union, please. And now, please spend your troops killing my enemies. Yeah? Yeah? I accepted your battle, call to arms. Oh shit. They need to finish off this war before they actually want to join me. But at least small people are joining me. Yay! <laughs> so this might actually be worse. I might be kind of doomed. <laughs> there are tidings of doom. Stalin! I have pierced the veil of the future and seen this only. Oblivion. Yet there's one spark of hope remains. You will hold You will hold her life in your hands. And though justice demands that you die, that she dies for her crimes, only she can save us. Funny! It's been four years. You show up out of nowhere. <laughs> oh god, I cannot pull off that StarCraft cinematic anymore. It just became too weird. And once again, we're going to fall back to, let's say, 
like that. The problem with your plan is it's not any just do a naval invasion because it's the freaking US you talk about. You know who has a very large navy? The US. And please fall back. And you are gonna stay there until you have actually arrived and fallen back. Same with all of you guys. Come on. I tell you to fall back and you are not falling back. Since I need a smaller front to be able to beat them. Or at least hold them off. Um, actually attack there so you you have time to fall. What? Why are you overrun? That's fucking bullshit. You should not have been overrun there. Holy shit. These units are gonna get crushed if they that happens. And that's not really something I want to do. So all troops gather up here again and try to break these units free. So you are gonna go that way, you are gonna just try to beat them off. You are attacking here, good. Don't forget your airbase, yeah they will automatically reassign to somewhere else. Come on. And now it seems like they are finally joining me. Yeah. Soviet Union has joined the righteous war against America. And we are also saving our troops from total annihilation. So instead of the this front line that was planned to have, let's grab this. Just everyone gather up and sp stand strong and proud since the Soviet Union has arrived. See, another StarCraft joke. Badoomch. Oh right, we're at war with them. Totally forgot about that. Naval invasion is gonna appear somewhere here. God freaking damn it. Oh, they cancel it. Nice. <laughs> and you are still not gonna be able to do this since... You only have... Oh, wait, wait. You should actually be able to do this now. Or... Maybe not. Are you freaking stupid? Now it's at least seven, 17 days. Oh, okay. I, it was just me looking weirdly at the tooltip. I could never do it. And we have zero manpower. So it's time to race. We have 1.3k men. 1.3k. 1.3 million men. So... This is now looking better again. We are l further from the US border, so it seems like they are less willing to defend the Mexican ally, or they are just saying, holy shit, we are at war with Soviet Union and we need to regroup. So let's push to the US border now. So just a small fallback until one large. And as you might also have seen, I regrouped everyone to under one leader now. Since, yeah, I'm gonna need it. I need one good leader that can just keep calm with everyone. Do you play Civilization? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, I'm really bad at it. And uh, yeah, I'm really bad at it. I have it. I have. I played it. Well, I don't know for how long. Let's actually check Civ. Um, I played um, Civ five for 55, 55 hours. Um, I have played some Civ four, but it was not on this account. So, yeah, maybe maybe I should pick it up one more time, maybe stream it, since, uh, actually a lot of people have been asking me, why don't you play Civ 5, um, but I'm really bad at it. I'm so disappointed Daniel doesn't have a moon base yet. 
So instead of this weak ass push we had done before, you're gonna do a full blitz assault. You grab everything you can as quickly as possible. Since we gotta act fast now. US is at war with Soviet Union. I don't know how well Soviet Union will do against them. They might fall completely. Since there's a lot of units, the Soviet Union will be able to hand, must fight by, their, by themselves on a million fronts. So yeah, we might have just sold them out completely to be able to survive. I don't bloody care. We are gonna do this. Civ 6 is outrageously expensive. Oh really? Huh? Aren't this gonna be the normal like 59.99 price? Not like our games that you play for thousands of hours. Which is 39.99 And um Sully X17 Verbreck123 Thank you all for the follows